Psalm 78, verses 70 through 72 says, He also chose David as his servant and took him from the sheepfolds, from the care of the ewes with the suckling lambs. He brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. And so he shepherds them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them with his skillful hands. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this six-month reading plan through the book of Psalms, today's reading is Psalm 78, verses 55 through 72, and I encourage you to read that section. Well, throughout this psalm, we see God's sovereignty over both nature and mankind, and particularly in the case of Israel in the choosing of kings such as Saul and David and Solomon. And this also goes for his prophets that he chose. This could leave us with the impression that God determines all history, and we are determined to live our lives as robots. The fact that God chose some people does not mean that God chooses all people for all things. Many things that we do in our walk with Christ will take us on various paths. You may have chosen to go to a particular school, to end up in a particular class, that school, and maybe met your wife or husband in that class. You may have had two or more job offers and made a decision to take one over the other and so on throughout your life. But there are some people that God chooses for particular situations. Saul, David, and Solomon are all perfect examples. Jeremiah 1.5 specifically says that God knew Jeremiah before he formed him in the womb. John the Baptist was chosen to, prior to his birth, and the list goes on. But there are others who just seem to appear on the scene with no reference before or after. Nathan the prophet during David's time is one of these. Now, I believe that God has a plan for each person. And he will give each person certain tasks, Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, particularly verse 10, to fulfill in his lifetime walk with Christ. But that does not mitigate or negate the fact that we have a free will and we exercise that free will virtually every second of every day. And this brings us to our world today. We have the opportunity of a lifetime to step up and, and present Christ to the world. Stories are replete in the news of companies changing their entire business model to help out. Children are taking their allowance or their birthday gifts and donating those for some good cause. We as Christians need to step up and to do what we can to help people and spread the gospel. God has given us the opportunity we need to take, and we should take it. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.